Okay, the demonstration today, the theme is weight distribution. And I, that doesn't sound exciting. <laughs> but I think it's going to be interesting. Uh, it's actually two demonstrations. The first demonstration <clears throat> involves a 12 inch wooden ruler. For some reason, this is actually 13 inches, but that doesn't matter. And uh, so it, it's about gravity weight distribution. If you, if you lay the edge of the ruler on the surface and let go, it's obviously going to fall. I think Cindy is the one who told me the, the saying, obey gravity, it's the law. Do you remember that? I think it was a I'll have it on a t-shirt. OK. So uh, it, and if the ruler is not clamped, glued, or somehow fastened here, or uh, if there's no support, like a yardstick going from the stage floor supporting the end of the ruler, it's going to fall if you let go. And so you would think if you added, if you added weight to the, the end or somewhere along the way here, that it's only going to fall harder and faster. Unless you attach it this way. And it doesn't fall. It's not clamped, glued, there's no support, but uh, it, it doesn't fall. And that is because of the exciting concept of weight distribution. The explanation for this is uh, the plane of the edge of the music stand is here. And you can see that most of the weight of the hammer is inside of that. And so it's actually pulling down on the, the ruler right here. You, you can maybe see that, that the ruler is flexed down here. <clears throat> and this came from a children's book called Science Works, 65 experiments, experiments that introduce the fun and wonder of science. So this is not magic, it's science. But when I look at it, it still seems like it should fall. I don't know about you. So now we're gonna do something similar, but on a larger scale. A larger, heavier, riskier and uh, more expensive scale. The ruler cost maybe 30 cents. The piano was probably worth about $90,000. But I know this works, so there's nothing to... I've seen it done before, anyway, I think it works. So what is going on with uh, weight distribution on a grand piano? The way a, a piano is built, the grand piano is built, most of the, the weight, most of the metal wood structure is over here on the base side and out there at the tail end of the piano. There's really very little weight up here. The piano, you, it doesn't come to a point where you see it gets small here. And so there's just not a much, as much weight resting on that, uh, on that leg. The base end has these long, heavy bass strings wrapped in copper. And up here at the treble end, it's plain wire, the speaking length of the very top note is only about two and a quarter inches long. So very light. But it's not weightless. There is some weight. So the, the first thing I'm going to do is just demonstrate that there is some weight. And we use, so I'm going to jack up the piano and I'm actually going to crush that Coke can. And this is the tool we use to these pianos. It's a, it's a two-ton bottle jack on a shelf inside a box. So this tool is called a jack-in-a-box. <clears throat> and we use this all the time to replace casters or repair piano legs. So I don't mar 
are the stage floor. I don't think this is going to shoot out at you. <laughs> and here we go. So that's not really surprising. Uh, most people can crush a Coke can with their bare hands. So it's uh, all that shows is that there is some weight on the treble leg of the piano. It's, it's not weightless. So to show that there's just very little weight, uh, I'm going to take the leg off of the piano and substitute a violin in its place. For those of you who don't know, the, the way uh, Steinway legs are on, put on, it's uh, interlocking iron plates. There are no screws that hold it on. <clears throat> and out comes the violin. Pardon? Uh, no. This is my violin, I assure you. I bought it on eBay for $40. <laughs> <laughs> Something about the construction of violins, uh, in case you should decide to do this demonstration yourself, violins are stronger, the neck body construction is stronger if there's tension on the strings. It's built to withstand uh, the tension of the strings. And so before you string the violin, the neck, it flexes just a very little bit. So before you put tension on, it's down a little bit. And then you put tension on and it comes up like a 32nd of an inch or less. I think you can imagine that if I took wire cutters right now and cut these strings, it would just relax a little bit. So uh, for the purposes of holding up the weight of a grand piano, it should be relatively in tune. Probably need a, a tuner to do this correctly. So I think we're in good shape for this. Now, I don't take credit for this uh, demonstration. Uh, I saw it done by an Austrian uh, Steinway piano technician. His name is Stefan Knupfer. And uh, so I, I know it's supposed to work. Um, uh, I would ask, since this is a rel relatively delicate thing that's about to happen, Please don't stand up or move, just keep breathing, but uh, I don't want any movement in the floor or unnecessary breezes. Uh, I promise you, if we hear the, the sound of splitting wood, or if we see the violin being crushed, I'll just abandon the whole project, we'll jack the piano back up, and put the leg back on and forget the whole thing. Is there any other reason to delay doing this? <laughs> Here we go. There are about three inches between the floor and the bottom of the violin. Now when I lowered the piano onto the Coke can, I let it go down fairly rapidly because I wanted to hear this good crushing sound. But as you can believe, that's exactly what we don't want to hear now. So I take it down very easily.
So, what's going on? One thing, the grand piano just isn't as heavy at the treble end as you might think. And two, the violin is stronger than you might think. It's really not heavy at all. As a matter of fact, I can lift the piano up a little bit myself. Pull that out. And hold it myself. And it's, uh, I'm fine. It's, I'm not suffering at all. So that, that pretty much concludes the uh, demonstration. But please stay where you are until I get the piano jacked up and we get the leg back on the piano. So all I need to do now is jack up the piano and put it back on the leg. Oh my, I set the jack way over there. Uh, no, it's part of the show. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the, the ruler didn't fall. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll just stay there for a little while while I get the, the jack. So, I don't know, weight distribution, uh, I, like I said over there, it's not magic. Well, this is also not magic, but this time I will also not claim that it's science. 